One of the things that stood out to me is I think it's been a long time coming, right, that you guys are returning to custom cores. I, I call it the glory, Qualcomm's glorious return to custom cores. This custom core architecture that spans all the businesses it makes a lot of sense now in terms of your strategy. So how do you kind of see that, this return to custom cores, and how strategic that is for Qualcomm? Extremely strategic. We have to have the highest performance, lowest power in almost everything we do. But when we had a custom core before, it was actually for the mobile business. Right. And that's it, that was right. it. Mobile is a legitimate compute business. If you remember, PC was actually the first compute platform, then the second compute platform came, and that's the mobile phone. Right. And people didn't give up the PC. The third compute platform is gonna be XR. XR will be used tremendously, but you don't give up the mobile phone, you don't give up the PC. And auto is, the, is another one. It makes sense to have a CPU that could go across all these businesses, right be designed at different points for these businesses and bring differentiation to multiple hundreds of millions of units that we would ship across all three of these businesses. Qualcomm has the most, one of the most scale of really anybody, right? Yeah. But the ability to see all the other businesses that you're in and how that actually informs your product decisions, right? Having that breadth of depth gives you technical differentiators and also just the ability to, to better customize for all those customers now because you have, you're more in control of your own destiny again.